Hey, welcome to day 10, big hands. <clears throat> so today is all around, are you sure you know what you're doing? Good question, hey? So sometimes we don't. Pure and simple, truck going past, nice. So often we can end up with uh, doubts. So we know what we want, we think we know what we want, perhaps we might know what we want, and in actual fact we don't know what we want. That can sometimes be a thought process that you go through. Well, what happens when the doubts set in? What if? What if itis is what I call it. So, you know, what if I'm not good enough? What if it doesn't work? What if I fail? I was about to swear then, but you know what? Stuff it. Stuff what happens if. You will never know unless you try. And I'm not talking about enormous actions. It could just be, can you try and uh, eat vegetables for one meal today? Not a big deal. The world's not going to end. But you know what? If you can, it puts you on that journey to what happens next. What happens next is creating good, sustainable habits. Yes, that's a bit further down the road, but you've got to start somewhere. So, with relation to our challenge, are you sure you know what you're doing? Had any doubts? Well, that's okay as well, because we don't always know what we're doing. It's also to do with clarity, and clarity is just total tranquility of the mind. If you ask a proficient cyclist what they think about on a bike ride, the answer is probably nothing, or my legs hurt, or in actual fact just listening to the tarmac on the rubber as the wheels go around. But if you listen to a novice cyclist or somebody that's just learning, excuse me, you will probably ask what are they thinking about when they ride a bike and it'll be are my handlebars in the right place and how do I keep up right and am I cycling at the right speed and what happens if I need to do this and all this stuff that's happening that's going on in the mind that happens when we're taking on challenges as well do you have clarity in mind of what you're trying to achieve do you know ultimately where you're trying to get to superstitious thinking is something that clouds our judgment Fear of flying, superstitious thinking. Fear of spiders, superstitious thinking. Afraid of the sea, superstitious thinking. Especially if you're sat here, it, well, in a flat in London or wherever your home is, and you're not flying, there are no spiders, and you're not in the sea. If you've got a fear, that's because you're feeling your thinking. It's not happening. There's no reason for that to happen and to make you fearful. But all of a sudden, your superstitious thinking that's going on in your mind is going, I can't do it. Nonsense. Notice and name as we've done previously. Understand why you're feeling this way. And then do something about it. Because today's most valuable action is to write down the last time that you had total clarity. Think about it. When were you just totally calm, totally clear-headed, and totally present? Write it down. There's probably something around that that says, actually, I can identify why that happened. By writing it down, we can then see what we need to do for the next time round. But in actual fact, you won't do it unless you do it or write it down or notice it. So with that, I'm going to leave it with you. But I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love you to write back and tell me when the last time you had total clarity was. I look forward to hearing the results. And as always, see you tomorrow.